Pastor, thank you so much for joining us. Karibu thank sana. You, thank you for right. And uh, we talk, we're here to talk about the Rally Cross, an event that's coming up that's uh, next weekend. But first things first, your participation at uh, last weekend's uh, WRC Safari Rally, where you finished in 13th position. What would be your uh, evaluation of that particular uh, championship, being uh, putting in mind that uh, Flash has won it uh, five times, the Safari Rally, but only the third when it's uh, in the WRC circuit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, this is our third time competing as an FIA event. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we've won it five times, six times um, outside of the when it was an FIA World Rally Championship. Um, but yeah, it was a tough one. Uh, lots of dust, mm -hmm. uh, deep dust, mm -hmm. and I think it posed a challenge to everybody, mm -hmm. including the the top WRC drivers. Mm -hmm. It was good fun, but mm -hmm. uh, it was a challenge. Mm -hmm. And of course, your participation maybe made uh, some people ask if you're you really slowing down or, or, or you're just going in it again? <laughs> well, we had retired last year. Mm -hmm. So uh, luckily we, we got a sponsor for, for the safari. Mm -hmm. So that's why we took part, but mm -hmm. uh, officially retired mm -hmm. after 22 years. After 22 years. Yeah. I mean, I, and, and the rally now is back with the hybrid cars. Where is it going really, uh, Tim? Yeah, I mean, those cars are monsters. Mm -hmm. um, it's great to see them and, and be around them, but mm -hmm. Uh, with the cars that we have here, um, we don't stand a chance really, but it was nice to, to take part mm -hmm. and be a part of it mm -hmm. um, and socialize mm -hmm. with those guys at that skill level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, the, the rally, of course, 20 years with, with Flash, man, you, you know, um, mm. you said you're long suffering. <laughs> <laughs> long suffering, yeah, 22 years. Yeah, I yeah. think it's the longest pairing driver navigator in in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, time to retire. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, reading the past notes, he's also the reigning ARC champion, right? Yeah, we both are. Yes. 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 <laughs> you are. <laughs> and, yeah. now, and, and now we, we, we're looking at um, another, another life, you know, all together. That's the rally cross, mm. right? Now yeah. we, we, we bring in this like a motorsport bonanza. And uh, it involves a uh, combination of rallying and circuit racing, cars going uh, head to head in circles, basically, and mm. suitable in amphitheater and stadiums. Talk about uh, this particular rally cross event that's happening on 10th July at the People's Park in Machakos. Yeah, um, well, rally cross is not new. Mm -hmm. um, it's unfortunately it was I think it sort of stopped mm -hmm. a couple of decades ago, mm -hmm. um, but it used to be hosted in Nakuru and Mbakasi racetrack, and then it sort of died died away for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and then about six or seven months ago, um, the governor of Machakos called up Flash and said he wants to host a, a Formula One mm -hmm. um, in his on his Machakos track. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously we needed to start somewhere to get it going. So uh, Flash and Flash came up with the idea to introduce Rallycross back again. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how it all, it all kicked off. Mm -hmm. So um, he's been busy putting it all together and um, creating teams and seeing how we can kick the first one off. Mm -hmm. and, of, and of course, Tim mentioning about uh, the sport being here in the 60s, then in Nakuru especially gives mm. you the, an idea of where names like Langa Langa came from. That's an estate in exactly. Nakuru, Exactly, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah? That's yeah. where it was held, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where the circuit used to be. Yeah, can yeah. It be still, is it still Before still? I was born, but um, yeah. uh, there's still evidence that it was there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think it was, it was a huge sport back in its day. Mm -hmm. um, and it's exciting to sort of being able to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Four, four rally cars participating, you know, uh, how will it, how will the competition be decided? Well, basically rally cross is, um, you can have normal basic cars mm -hmm. done up with safety wise to mm -hmm. compete mm -hmm. or old rally cars. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got your, your uh, top, top cars. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just being able, we're setting up a series where it's old rally cars can be used. Mm -hmm. Um, but Rallycross is multiple cars mm -hmm. racing on the track at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so there's contact, there's a bit of pushing, uh, a bit of bumping, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of strategies sort of to, uh, to use around the track. Mm -hmm. so, so that's Rallycross um, as, as a whole. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, eight cars, mm -hmm. um, so, but a slight twist with what, what Flash has done mm -hmm. is we created a team per mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. So each, each car will have four team members, mm -hmm comprised of a junior, a female, a veteran, and a past champion. Mm -hmm. And the past champion can be from any kind of motorsport discipline. Mm -hmm. um, so they all work together as one team. Mm -hmm. So the juniors will race the juniors, mm -hmm. the ladies will race the ladies, and the veterans, vets, and champions, champions. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you 
go out through the weekend, um, you're, you're earning points for that team. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the event on, the, on the Sunday, mm -hmm. whichever car has the most points, mm -hmm. that team wins. Mm -hmm. So it's a team event. Mm -hmm. And also, how will this be like um, a bonanza, a social event? How well, is it fashion to be that? that you yeah, know? good question. Um, great thing about Rallycross is it's a family fun weekend event. It's not just about racing. It's about socializing, having vendors out there, um, selling um, goods, wares, mm -hmm. um, and just creating a, a sort of a festival theme. Mm -hmm. um, people can come and enjoy the weekend, mm -hmm. um, meet up with friends, watch some racing, enjoy some good food. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a, an entire festival. Mm -hmm. Um, we've also got exhibitionists mm -hmm. coming along, um, motorsport ex exhibitionists, mm -hmm. which is hot rods. Um, we've got a, a drifting car mm -hmm. uh, and we've got a race between the TT mm -hmm. racers yeah. Yeah. and Flash uh, in the rally car. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, it's a good mix and there's always something going on all the time. There's no gaps. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a good fun mm -hmm. festival of mm -hmm. motorsport and just sort of socializing. Mm -hmm. And what th let's talk about the circuit. You know, uh, how long is the is the tarmac, and how long is the gravel, and at what point should uh, what are some of the uh, conditions or, or rules? How and when to use the Joker? Um, uh, the Joker loop. lap. Yes, yes <laughs> the Joker lap. Yes. Well, the thing with RX is there's what they call the Joker lap, mm -hmm. and what it is, it's a part of the track that actually you have to use once mm -hmm. in four laps mm -hmm. because each each heat is four laps, mm -hmm. so you have to use the Joker once, mm -hmm. and it's the longest part of the track. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a strategy of when to use it, when not to use it. Mm -hmm. If you don't use it, you get penalized. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of sort of um, tactical uh, and thinking that goes into, into using that joker lap. Mm -hmm. um, but a normal heat would see four cars start on the, on the grid side by side mm -hmm. uh, and a drag race to the corner and trying to get ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, L let's go back to the teams. Have they been separated? Yes, yeah, we've got eight teams signed up. Mm -hmm. uh, we've capped it at eight. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to name a few, you've got Flash with a team. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You've got Frank Tunde with a team. Mm -hmm. Eric Bengi, mm -hmm. uh, Patrick Njiru mm -hmm. is in a team. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in a team, mm -hmm. which means that I'm racing Flash for once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Everest, Everest anyone yeah, said Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Everest. Never. Yeah. No, no, never, never race side by side. Well, apart from sitting in the same car. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this is going to be new to everybody um, in those cars because I don't think anyone's actually done um, rally cross um, in this format before. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've got on my team, I've got Maxine Wahome, mm -hmm. um, Hamza Ranwa, mm -hmm. um, myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, it's going to be interesting. You got, you got five, five rally stars. Yeah. 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 I signed them up first <laughs> <laughs> before anybody else had the chance. You know, and, and that's just the quality that they have, you know, and also mm. they are run in, in, in the WRC. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's, it's a good mix of people mm -hmm. and a good mix of ages. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what it's all about. Just mm -hmm. uh, a good, fun mm -hmm. uh, social weekend with mm -hmm. some racing thrown in. Mm -hmm. And so let's, um, for instance, uh, Flash Steam, you know, they have. The, the, the Mze Racy, you know, mm -hmm. and as well as uh, the uh, sister racing. I mean, how, how will they divide the team? Are they in the same team? No, 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 they're, they're different. So Frank, mm -hmm. Frank Tundo has his team, mm -hmm. which comprises of Frank uh, Tash Tundo, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph Kashesha, mm -hmm. who's the junior, mm -hmm. and Baldev Chaga. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's a very good mix of, mm -hmm. mix of teams and mm -hmm. sort of skill levels as well. I would have liked to see Baldi going against his uh, car, you know. I'd like, I'd like to see it, but yeah. the worrying part is I'm part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. How has safety been uh, put into, how has the question been answered, the safety question been answered? So um, obviously the, the personal safety is, is paramount. So we're following all strict measures mm -hmm. from helmets to mm -hmm. balaclavas, neck mm -hmm. uh, restraints mm -hmm. um, and fireproof clothing mm -hmm. and the same with the cars mm -hmm. uh, we're not taking any any corners or shortcuts there mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be the same kind of uh, safety levels as you're seeing in uh, the Kenya National Rally Championship the autocross events here mm -hmm. uh, because that's obviously really very important mm -hmm. and of course uh, Formula One I mean uh, rally cross has been built as Formula One on, 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 on steroids you know? What kind of acceleration are we going to see? I mean, our cars are all fairly old because it's, it's the old rally cars that probably were rallied mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so that although they're fast, mm -hmm. uh, they're not 
Yeah. They're not your rockets mm -hmm. uh, and they're not your WRC cars, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a start for us. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it allows those cars to be used mm -hmm. rather than sitting in garages, mm -hmm. rotting. Yes, and a, a start that you surely expected to build to uh, make Kenya or this region one of only few, if not the only one in Africa. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think South Africa hosted the final round, if it was last year or the year before, mm -hmm. of, the, of the RX mm -hmm. uh, World Series. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be great to have a series that can come to Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen what Safari Rally and WRC has done, done for Kenya. Mm -hmm. And if we can add to that, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. So this is the first, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of learning curves with it. Um, and we'll build upon it for the next event in December. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, another, another event coming up in December, right? Mm, what, yeah. Well, yeah. What did it take to have the, uh, the circuit in Machakos? Do you think it can be replicated? I think so. Um, I think there's, there's certainly scope to have a two or three track sort mm -hmm. of system um, uh, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously the Machakos track is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, it's 12 meter wide tarmac and the dirt is 12 meter wide as well. It's, it's half tarmac, half dirt, yeah. two kilometers long. Mm -hmm. um, and the great thing is about, and with Rallycross uh, mm -hmm. worldwide, mm -hmm. the spectators get to see anywhere from 100% of the track mm -hmm. to 70, 60, 70% of the track. Mm -hmm. So the spectators can, from one mm -hmm. viewing point, mm -hmm. can see the majority of the track and the racing at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's the beauty about it. Yes, and, and of course this one, uh, the people's park, it will be happening in the open, right? When yeah. In most of the places it's uh, either in amphitheaters or stadiums. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So this is out at the, the people's park, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful setup. Mm -hmm. um, they've done a fantastic job there. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the hospital on site. Mm -hmm. We've got the fire and safety um, uh, set up for Machakos actually mm -hmm. on site there. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, the Machakos um, fire and safety mm -hmm. for the county is based there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a great venue. Mm -hmm. We've got everything we need there mm -hmm. um, and a lot of space for people to come and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And as well as fans, you know, what, what are the points? How vantage are the point for them to, to, to watch the spectate? Well, there's a lot of space there. Um, there's an eight acre area, which is what we call the entertainment hub. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you'll be able to see 60, 70 percent of the track. Mm -hmm. uh, the point where the main spectator point is, is we've got a couple of big jumps. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some water splashes. Mm -hmm. So it's the most sort of uh, critical area to watch, mm -hmm. uh, but lots of space. Yeah. And, and now building onto it, what, what, what are the, you know, as the, uh, uh, the thinkers behind it, you know, the think tank, the brains behind it, what, what do you want to build on it? And the success, especially on, on 10th of how the event will be. We just love to see people come out mm -hmm. uh, and enjoy a weekend long mm -hmm. uh, festival of motorsport, um, watching hot rods and mm -hmm. drifting cars, mm -hmm. uh, and just come and have a good fan family fun event, mm -hmm. um, which will then will take some learnings away from it, I'm sure, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully get the second one in December set up and running. Uh, smoother mm -hmm. um, and then hopefully next year flash um, hopes to have a four series um, championship mm -hmm. um, but then in between that he's also going to be trying to set up a sort of a, um, a training uh, for youth getting into motorsport mm -hmm. um, to sort of improve skill levels mm -hmm. uh, so a bit of a, a training school mm -hmm. as well how important is that I think I think it's super important because um, We've got very little sort of training schools out here mm -hmm. uh, and for Flash to impart some of his 22 year driving mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. onto some of the new up and comers, mm -hmm. um, some of the new juniors, uh, would be awesome to sort of impart some knowledge mm -hmm. that we've sort of learned. Yeah, and it would also be nice to see you uh, sharing your personal so the skills and all that, the knowledge that you've gathered <laughs> in the last uh, two decades or so, you know? Absolutely, How yeah. How notes reading has advanced. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's I now know. digital and... I think just for a, a platform to sort of be able to impart some driver training skills and some navigating skills, I'm sure it would be, uh, it would be super to do. Exactly. Thank you so much, uh, Tim Jessop, a long-time navigator to Carflash Tundo, who has won the K KNRC uh, Championship, the Safari Rally, five times, right? Mm, and yeah. we, we, what should we, uh, as we wind up this interview, what's the uh, punchline they will give to, to the spectators as well as uh, those who are looking forward, the A-teams, the drivers who will be coming through. And those are an all-female crew, right? 
Yeah, we've got an all-female crew, um, and like I said, it's a it's a great mix of people, different ages, mm -hmm. uh, different sort of motorsport backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, some no background at all, mm -hmm. just showed interest in it mm -hmm. uh, and managed to get onto a team. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it looks like it's going to be fun, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, to everybody, come out, uh, come come and watch. Um, we have an online ticketing portal uh, to make it easier to to, to get into the event. Mm -hmm. uh, come and have some fun. Mm -hmm. You have a cap on maybe how many spectators you want to see, as mm, many as possible. As many as possible, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got the space. <laughs> um, and it'd be, be awesome to sort of showcase what we've got. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, mm -hmm. come out and enjoy the weekend. Yeah, come out and enjoy the weekend, see two cars going head to head, <laughs> and also a team would have liked to, uh, to, to race against Flash. <laughs> you know, I would have loved to see Boldy racing against Flash, renew their old age rivals yeah, you know, yeah. back then. But all the same, thank you so much, team. Just hope Pleasure, thank you. For gracing Game On and talking about Rallycross, you know, an uh, upcoming event that uh, will be happening at the People's Park in Machakos on 10th of July. It's uh, one of the coming back from the 60s, you know, so it will be the first time. It will be interesting to see everyone there and especially the motorsport enthusiasts. Thank you so much, team. Great thank to have you. you. And thank we you. hope to see you again coming to talk about how the event was after post event. We would love to have you out there. So, uh, sure. <laughs> Sure, the team will be there covering it live and Perfect. showing Kenyans what's happening. Fantastic. Pleasure. Thank you. Yes, and that's a team just up. Right up next, we'll be having um, a, se a third set of uh, interviews here, and that's uh, from uh, Irene Lemika from the Arrows for Peace. We'll be talking about archery and how they're helping show up the numbers of Kenyan archers who are taking up the sport, especially among the passive communities.